Hi friends, MD Vegan. It's breakfast time and one of the great breakfasts of mine is chia pudding. It's a nice dessert too, as I always saw it in Asia restaurants. A dessert, a little chia pudding, they usually put uh, coconut milk, that is in Asia very common. Coconut milk in the chia pudding and that is a neutral flavor and they can put all kinds of wonderful nice um, toppings like for example mango, cream or so, mango, puree. Uh, that's a classical dessert. It's wonderful. It makes a meal complete. Uh, uh, because also uh, the chia seeds have a very important um, nutrient that we need every day and that is not in many plants in abundance. That is omega-3 fatty acid. A fat that is essential for us, for the brain, for the nerves, for the whole body. But in only in a couple of plants, I know the chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds, these three, walnuts, eat a handful of walnuts, you know, and algae. These are the five known to me, now for proven scientifically, that you can have them and have enough of this fat. But we need it every day, and I feel if I have a breakfast with one of these five, I feel great afterwards. And the breakfast is balanced in general, so sometimes the breakfast is, contains everything but one ingredient, one nutrient you need, and then you feel somewhat incomplete. It's my experience. So the chia seed is one of the great solutions, and I tried it today, or in the other days I made it before now, um, with um, cardamom almond milk. And um, this is a cardamom almond chia pudding, you see. And I put it into a glass. Uh, yeah, I make the breakfast, the, these, these chia puddings, I make it ahead of time. So I make a little bit more than I need for one breakfast. This has been, this is now um, half of full glass. And that was um, uh, eight tablespoons chia seeds and two cups of this um, almond milk with cardamom. I show you how to make this pudding in another video, the short version of the longer one. You find the link under this one. But it's pretty easy. You have the milk, you put uh, the chia seeds into the milk, stir for some time, and then you can let it sit and it soaks. And this has been soaking overnight, now two nights, because I made it ahead of time a little bit more than I need. And now I have this wonderful gelled up chia seeds. The gel in the chia seeds is also very important. Um, gel takes out heavy metals from the body. The, you know, the body oftentimes, uh, the human body uh, grips uh, firm to the heavy metals and doesn't let it go and then the heavy metals can, uh, like little bombs on the DNA, they destroy everything. Heavy metals are very dangerous for more of a reason and uh, these gels are said to take them out. They, they, they take on the heavy metals and then they, they are eliminated from the body. So that's a good thing for the chia seeds too, that they have this gel. Uh, um, and it has a nice pudding texture. And um, gel in general these uh, is a fiber and these fibers have very healthy um, um, qualities anyway. You know, a very famous, maybe pectin, the most famous fiber here we know. It's used in the food industry. It's in apple seeds. It makes everything gel up. It's a thickener. And it's a fiber, and these fibers are very healthy for the intestines. Uh, fiber in general is healthy for the intestines. That's all I have today uh, for the pudding. So I have made it ahead of time, as you can see. And that makes it, of course, fantastic easy yeah, <laughs> to make his breakfast. I have it in the bottom of my glass. That's my chia pudding. And uh, one more thing, because um, almond milk is not coconut milk. And I said the coconut milk makes the chia pudding neutral, tastes neutral. So it's open to all kinds of seasoning. Not so the almond milk. The almond milk makes the chia pudding taste like chia seed. The original flavor of the, fl flavor of the chia seeds comes out with almond milk. It's very interesting. I was surprised when I tried it first time last year. And I come back to it with a cardamom that has a very um, strong flavor. It's a seasoning that says microbiotic, micro, microbial, uh, micro, antimicrobial, that's called a difficult word, antimicrobial, that it takes care of um, the bad guys in our intestines, the bad bacteria. <laughs> and so that, that is what cardamom does, it's good for the tummy. 
It has a strong flavor, a little bit like a pepper, but not so I hard to describe. It's in, it's in all kinds of, 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 of uh, recipes in India, and coffee also, and tea, and sweets. It makes it really more becoming. So, um, so it tastes different, really different, if you have the chia seeds in almond milk with cardamom. And I want to try now some dishes, some breakfasts, the fruit on top that I have today. I have uh, almonds, uh, no, bananas and apples. That's one of my nice combinations here. And a banana, two bananas and an apple. Um, of course, in slices and small pieces. And um, that's what I'm going to try today. Uh, together with my chia pudding. Yeah, that's, I can, you can do so many things when you have a ready-made uh, chia pudding. You can try all kinds of recipes with it and uh, always learn something new. Uh, and today I have another uh, ready-made ingredient that is a cardamom um, date cashew banana milk. It's a banana milk. Uh, the banana milk with this creamy with bananas and cashews and dates and a little bit of lemon to keep it fresh and cardamom. And there's another video how to make it. I will um, use that now for my fruit salad with bananas and apples to try how that works with my chia pudding. Here is the fruit salad, the two ingredients, and here is the cardamom um, cashew banana milk. You see, it's runny as you can see. It's nice, and it's also nice to have these kind of milks, creamy milks, with a chia pudding. Because then you can eat the milk together with the pudding. And that's, that's so much fun. I, I like that. I don't know about you, but I love that. Uh, chia pudding has a texture by itself, so you can spoon that. I like that texture with the little gel balls here and there. Wonderful. Uh, it's much fun. But also, eat it with, um, with a nice creamy milk. Yeah? I always did that when I was little. I had puddings, I had desserts with milk on top, creamy milks. There are many ways to do that. And then I spoon the pudding together with the milk, and I like that a lot. So that's what inspires me, of course, here to make this recipe. I always think about that, remember that. And now I try it with the apples. Apples have a sweet and sour uh, balance, uh, one of the most balanced fruit I read are the apples worldwide. That's also why they are so favorite. I guess the most favorite of the fruit is the banana, uh, sells most in the planet. And then apples are also very favorite. And I heard they are favorite because um, they are so balanced, the sweet and sour. The banana is more sweet, of course, but it has also a bitter tone. There are complex flavors in bananas, very different ones bananas, of course, but in general they are sweet and soft. And the apples are crunchy and a little bit sour too. So I like this difference with the crunchy texture of the apple and the banana. I think they're all nice together. Let's see how it works with the chia pudding and this wonderful um, cardamom banana milk. Yeah. So you have two videos to watch if you want how to make the chia pudding. There's one link under this. And another one is how to make the cardamom cardamom date cashew banana milk the banana milk okay you can do that but it's very easy you know five ingredients and you have the creamy milk thanks for watching i hope you enjoy if you like like my video subscribe and on youtube have another recipe every single day and find me on facebook instagram pinterest and x